Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Today we consider words that were spoken by Jesus, recorded for us in the Gospel of John chapter 5, and we read there verses 41 to 47. John chapter 5, verses 41 to 47. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know you. I know that you do not have the love of God in your hearts. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe, since you accept glory from one another, but do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? But do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? Jesus had done an incredible thing. He healed a man who had been paralyzed for 38 years. Now, for a paralyzed person to be completely healed as though he had never been crippled before is unheard of even today. But better than that, this once crippled man came to believe that Jesus was God's son and his savior, so that in the end he was healed from his sin and from eternal death. Now, some Jews were furious about this. They said that by healing the man on a Sabbath day, Jesus was working, and that was a crime punishable by death according to the law of Moses. Well, how sad. But sadder still was that really these Jews were angry because Jesus was getting more glory. He was getting more praise than they were. Jesus pointed out to them that he did not come into the world to be praised for his miracles. He was not trying to establish a kingdom of adoring subjects. He came to fulfill his heavenly father's will, which just happened to be Jesus' personal will too. He came to do everything God had planned, everything he foretold in the Old Testament to win the forgiveness of sins for all of humanity so that through faith, sinners would be saved from the eternal death and punishment that they deserved and have eternal life with God forever instead. Well, sometimes we find ourselves in the same rut as those envious Jews. We think we're being godly because we stand up for godly things. When actually our hearts are filled with envy and jealousy and we're not even aware of it. There are countries, for example, that are still ruled by communists who are atheists, who don't want their citizens to give allegiance to any God at all. And there are Muslims and Hindu people who move here into our country and they fill our neighborhoods, practicing religions that reject what the Bible teaches about Jesus. And there are Americans who stopped going to church a long time to go, ago and, and altogether boldly stand for behaviors and beliefs that God's word clearly forbids and condemns. Not when communist countries fall, or our government institutes policies making it difficult for people from other countries to move here, or citizens get their due for their evil behaviors, we might rejoice in our hearts over that. But Jesus shows us something different. That life isn't about the bad guys losing and whomever we think of as being the good guys winning. Rather, life is all about people, whomever they may be, wherever they may come from, being given the opportunity to know who Jesus really is. In other words, a Christian life is about you and me doing everything that we can to tell the gospel and promote that gospel of Jesus to every single person, no matter their background, their religion, or their personal opinions. It's about everyone being given the opportunity to be healed of their sin. 
and to receive the reward that Jesus won, not just for us, but for the entire world. Dear God, help us to remember this. Amen.